Hello, welcome to a video that comes at the end of session one of Intelligence and Learning. This is a video that goes along with a course that I'm teaching at New York University, uh, ITP, to School of the Arts. Okay, so I'm making this video just if you happen to have watched this entire playlist, um, you're following this course on my YouTube channel. Um, now's the time where you could try to make a creative exercise based on the variety of different uh, search algorithms uh, with graph systems that I've showed you. So. Um, this page here, I will link to it, um, uh, has some of these exercise ideas. I'll maybe talk you through some of them. So one of the things you could really do is you could take any of the examples that I made, uh, maze generation with depth first search, binary tree, and just visualize them in a, in a different way, in an artistic way, in 3D. It'd be really interesting to see, could you do A star pathfinding in 3D? Um, you could actually even have a terrain that's 3D, and you're trying to like, you don't want to go up and you want to go down. This was a... Um, um, uh, uh, a viewer actually submitted a, a project like that, which I will try to link to in the description of this video. Um, um, and so, um, so I'll, I'm going to talk you through some of these possibilities. So you could make your own visual design. Uh, you know, just as a technical exercise, one thing you might try to do is uh, have. There's music in the hallway again. <laughs> uh, take that binary tree. Uh, example, which just puts 10 random things in the binary tree, but allow the user to enter numbers and have those appear in the tree so it builds up slowly. Maybe it animates in some interesting way, add some physics to it. Um, you know, the six degrees of Kevin Bacon example, I used a sort of dummy small data set. You could try to use, um, build that exact same example, but with a much larger data set. Maybe it's not movies and actors. Um, the animal guessing game. Is so is oh that's what I didn't make a video for. I should make a video about that. <laughs> so if you look at this animal guessing game example, uh, it's just a little node program that tries to guess an animal that you're thinking of, and it uses um, uh, a tree-like structure to do that. And so making an interactive version of that, um, you know, something that I think if you um, look at the A star example, and you know, all it does is show you that path that it solves for. But what if you actually used some of my autonomous agent examples that have steering agents moving through a space, actually look like they're little mice trying to find the um, finding it. Oh, this was this idea of you know, how do you think about the space that you're pathfinding in? You know, it's really just my examples are just a pure maze. Um, I should pull one of them up. So I pulled up the A star example and also this uh, maze example. Now, first of all, it could be interesting to think about combining these two. That's an exercise. I actually have a solution to that. If you look at, uh, at, the, at the links, I created a solution to that. But here, you know, you could really think about the maze in a different way. Is it a wall? Is it a river? So I think just reimagining re other ways to visualize these spaces and thinking about this as a terrain. Um, there's a lot of possibilities, I think, that you could, that you could explore just using the, the, the algorithm but verba verbatim, but thinking about the actual space that the algorithm is playing out in a completely different way and putting your own design spin on it. Uh, what else do we have here? Um, so, you know, another thing you could do is I never uh, made a video about, like, say, for example, Dijkstra's algorithm, and you could investigate that and create something. So if you do any of this, if you do any of these assignments and you're watching this video, share links to what you make in this uh, video uh, in the comments or tweet them at me at Schiffman. And also, <laughs> if it's a variation on one of my examples that's on the GitHub repository, you can add it, a link to it in the readme file in that directory. I gotta have a better system for this. So I'm working that out. Um, thanks for uh, what, participating in this se session one of Intelligence and Learning, and maybe you'll move on and watch session two with genetic algorithms.